that is a cool looking Tesla waiting for the supercharger. White, customized wheel, and he blacked out his uh, his roof line. So, interesting. And we've got the little Tesla logo in red. Not bad. I like it. Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. And welcome to another episode of Sitting in a Supercharger Station with John Chow. Uh, I just dropped off Sally uh, to school, and right now I'm charging up the Tesla, so I figure since I'm here, I might as well uh, do a little video and answer a, a reader email. And this email actually is very, very appropriate because this email has to do with this car I'm sitting in, uh, this Tesla Model X. All right, so the question is, uh, dear John, can you tell me more about the Mo Motors program and how you got your Tesla for free? All right, so uh, okay, okay, yeah, we can do that. Now, uh, most people probably, if you if they watch my my vlog uh, long enough, they'll come to realize that this particular uh, Tesla that I drive, I, I don't actually pay for. It's a hundred and fifty thousand bucks, and it's totally paid for by Mo. So I guess, all right, how does it work? Okay, so how the program works is actually quite simple. Uh, as a mobile affiliate, you are, in addition to making money by promoting the mobile product and getting affiliate commission, getting referral commission, getting continuity commissions, that kind of stuff. Like, but in addition to all, in addition to making money, mobile has several perks or additional benefits that you can get you know, by qualifying at a certain sales level. And a free car is one of them. Other rewards includes uh, rings, vacations, vacation points, and that kind of stuff. But uh, probably the most exciting is the uh, the free car program. And how the free car program works is actually quite simple. For every one thousand dollars of mobile commission that you make, you get you receive one car point. Okay, one so simple. One every one thousand bucks, one car point. So when you once you made five thousand dollars you get five points. So once you have five points, you qualify for a new car. And so once you get, once you make 5,000 bucks, you got five points, and then you're gonna get an email from mobile saying, congratulations, you qualify for a free car. And each, every point, every point is worth $120, right? So if you have five points, that's $600. So what you do is these cars are leased, all right? So this this Model X is a leased vehicle. And instead of me paying for the lease, Mo pays for the lease, all right? So once you get five points, you qualify for the car. And each point's worth $120. Now, in order to keep the payment on the lease going, you must maintain those points, all right? So uh, let's say you lease a vehicle and it costs 600 bucks a month. Plus five points a month. So basically every month, you got to do $5,000 every single month to get your five points. So Mo will pay $600 for your, for your lease. And these, uh, these points go at different levels. So you get five points, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that's how, you, that's how the point goes. So you can get, if you, have a, if you want a more expensive car like the Tesla, which it just basically means do more volume, create more points. So like this Tesla would cost uh, about... 18, 2000, 2000 bucks a month, which will be, well, you can work it out. You can work it out. What happens if you don't do the required points every single month? Well, uh, then uh, you, you're you paying for the car yourself. That's what the investment for some, that's basically what it means. So if one month you don't do the five points, and we'll just do 600 bucks a month as a, you know, as an example. So every month you must have five points in order for Mo to pay the lease. And if, in months, you, you don't do the five points, then you don't, then you're paying for yourself. Basically, that's what it means. You're paying for yourself. So, it uh, it's to your advantage to have you know to make sure your sales are steady before you actually apply for the program. Because uh, I seen I seen it happen a few times where when someone has a good month, you know, make uh, gets the five points, they go out buy the car, and then next month they. They don't get the five points, and then they end up they're paying they're paying for the car themselves. So don't don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Make sure you got some study points uh, before you do it. Now these points, it's kind of a use it or lose it proposition. So the five points 
if you don't use it, it they will expire in three months. So if in January you have five points and you don't use it, those points will be good until March. And if you don't use it in March, those points are gone. Right? So yeah, basically three months. So and the reason we do that is um, I guess to not a, not to create a big liabilities on the on the mobile books. But the other reason they do that is just to encourage you to to keep working at to keep to keep consistently produce sales. So uh, and oh yeah, and if in months what what so what and also the what happens in months when you do more than five points? Let's say. You need five points, but one month you did ten points. So what happens to the extra five points? The extra five points just carries forward. So it carries forward. So if you if in month one you did ten points, so you use up five points for the car, that five points remaining gets goes to month two. So in month two you could conceivably just do nothing and you the car will still be paid for. And so this what I do is in my case I, I always have spare points going forward. Because uh, yeah, guys, okay, I do like a lot of points, and I, I believe I, I check I have like something like uh, almost five hundred points. <laughs> so I mean, and and they expire in three months. So I should get more than one car, I guess. But there is a apparently Mo Mo uh, recently put in a limit. So I I can't I can't get as I can't get as uh, you know I can't base I can't basically build a fleet. I can't basically build a fleet. But oh well. But that's basically in a, a, little, a little let's share a little overview of. The Mo Motors program. Uh, if you want to really find out, I guess the the terms, the nitty gritty, the nitty gritty details and stuff. It's in my ebook. It's in my my ebook, the ultimate uh, online profit model. The the one the ebook where I teach you the three business models that I use to make money online and live the dot com lifestyle. So uh, if you haven't got it, go download a copy. The link is below the video, and it, it'll explain the program in more detail than what I just did. What I just did now, I'm pretty sure I forgot some of the some stuff about, but I believe that that is a nuts of the program. Basically, Mo, it, it, this, this car is leased. Mo pays for the lease, and they'll keep paying for the lease as long as uh, I maintain the required number of points to pay for this lease. And once the lease expires, I can return the car and go get another car, and Mo will continue to pay for the lease as well. So after I still have another year and a month on this uh, on this Tesla. And then after that, I will uh, most likely get another another Tesla Model X. So yeah, that's yeah. Unless you can think of recommend something else I should get besides a another Tesla Model X. Though I can't think of anything because I actually love this car. It's it's, it's perfect for me. Perfect. Anyway, uh, I hope that answers your question. If you have any other question, uh, feel free to email me at johnchow at johnchow.com or leave a leave your question below in the comments, and I'll get to them and. Like uh, if it's a more common question, I usually answer them in the video. If it's a customized specific question, I usually just answer it right in the comments itself. So yeah. All right. John Chow with JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for listening. Give me a thumbs up. Like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.